Hello. 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 One. Hello. Come one. Come all. Babes of beasts the channel. and babes. Beasts and babes and the and the overlapping part of that Venn diagram. Welcome to the Two Minute Spicy Puffs broadcast, where we broadcast to you every single time that Elon Musk has a lovely breakfast. Nails and ham. What's that? A, a breakfast of nails and ham. That's it, what he it's eats. been a while since the last time Elon Musk had a breakfast of nails and ham, but I. I am proud to say what? that today he did it again. Oh. <laughs> well, good for him. That rapscallion did it he, again. I hope he chokes in the ham. I hope the, well, I, hope the, I hope the nails are, were poisoned. I think the nails will um, activate his gizzard and he will be able to swallow the ham <laughs> quite nicely. But anyways, <laughs> yes, he loves his nails and ham, that freaky fellow. Freaky fellow. Um, yeah. What's he, what's been what's been going on in, in inside of your life, Luna? Have you ever have you ever cracked it open and and I'm examined all the all the juices? I'm so glad you asked. Well, school is fucking my ass, um, and that's pretty <laughs> much it. That's my whole wow. life now. School's fucked up. School's fucked for. This is not a good job. I don't know. It, it gave me an massage yeah. my joke particles. I don't know if I'm good at um, doing jokes. Just give me um. Have you ever tried? Has anything interesting happened to you? Um, ever? Well, <laughs> ever? Well, um, I remember. I remember when I was. It was like in like 2013. I remember I was like in. I was like I was like on vacation somewhere in the summer. It was like, um, fucking. I was in Michigan. Michigan. I remember I was. This was during the time when the the Destiny One beta was. Around Destiny and One. I, I really, wait, with this, wait, this might have been twenty fourteen. I don't know. It was whatever. Look up whenever the Destiny One beta was happening. That was when All right, this bud. was happening. Anyway, so was, I was on vacation during it, and I wanted to play it because I was really excited for it. I never got to play it because and I, I, I was so close to because they had an Xbox. They had an they had Xbox. an Xbox sixty, and it was I could have tried to do it. Okay, this would have been twenty fourteen. It wasn't big enough. It wasn't didn't have enough storage space. And I tried to like download it to a USB stick on the Xbox, but USB it wouldn't stick. do. And it and it pissed me off. And I never got to play it. Okay, so basically, Destiny what happened beta. was that you could not play Destiny One Beta at age fourteen. Yeah, something like yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I was, and it was. It was sad, but I, I got How did like, the regular you feel? Destiny one, and I. How? What emotion? Um, um, I was, I was just frustrated, and uh, I was sad and frustrated because I, I was gonna fucking miss the Destiny one beta. Why is there so much phlegm in my fucking throat right now? I'm so mad. Um, I keep I clearing my throat, and like, nothing happened. Well, what you should do is, you, have you ever have you ever heard of a vacuum cleaner? Oh yeah, I've heard of a vacuum cleaner, Gavian. It'll it'll suck it'll suck it it'll suck it right up. It'll suck it right out of you. Uh, you you will never you'll never have to worry about that fucking disgusting shit again. Yeah, but what about my pink you that. fleshy tongue? Um just uh hold on tight, lol. Oh lol. You know what? This is why <laughs> you're the you're this is why you're my co host of my podcast. This is the kind of commentary that people come back for every single year. <laughs> It's 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 kind of weird how this is a yearly podcast, but we we kind of just we just I people just upload keep, them. people come to this podcast annually every single decade, every single no yeah. every single every November twenty fifth of every this single is, this, year. this is clearly the the podcast of the century. You know, it's weird. It's like like people like will like look back and like in like like the year like twenty one hundred twenty one hundred, and the, they're gonna like they're gonna like, look back and like wow. Um, sc- sc- scrubby scraps of 2060s. That was that was definitely the podcast of the century. Like they might not do even. Do you want to start a podcast like, called you... Scrubby Scraps? Because you've been talking about it a lot. I, it's not a real podcast, but I mean, we could no. do. Do you not want to make scrubby, then, scrubby Scraps? No, because if we if we if we if we do that, then then the Scrubby Scraps of the tw- of the of 2060, or like 200, like 2060, won't fucking even exist yet. Maybe we're if gonna, we're, we're going to destroy the podcast, the, we have to preserve the the the, the timeline. It, it, by twenty sixty, if we're so alive, we should make the Scrubby Scrubs podcast so we can yeah. get all that cl- scrubby clout. 
That's probably you our know what? Maybe we that. should just as early as like 2050, and if we can stick to it for like 10 years after that. Yeah, we can we can have like a backlog of like of like of a decade of podcasts and like release them as like the the scrubby collection. The scrubby, co- yeah, that's great. Yeah, you know what? Let's yeah. start. Let's start doing that. Um, let's just do one minute yeah, a day. This will be the. If we, this will be the yeah. The, I think, this will be the I think if we record one minute of the podcast of that podcast a day, then we'll have enough for a, 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 by like by twenty sixteen. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be why it's the podcast is so inno- innovative. It'll be like one hundred twenty full episodes, I think. I, yeah. I don't know. I I can't I can't I, I can't read. That I don't know. Do you remember 2013? Can, the year of Luigi? Uh, yeah. Do you remember all the classic Luigi games that came out? Um Luigi eats sandpaper. Luigi goes to the store Luigi, and buys some ground beef for his first cookout. Wait, Grummy Burgers? Can you say that one more time, um, Gavian? Ground beef for his cook out he goes to the store and buys some ground beef are you saying he gets gra- okay so Gavian, i don't know if you understand this but luigi can't get ground beef he is vegan you know why he's green because that's why it's the beyond meat he has he, he will he no he will, thinks that he buys some he, he tried to taste he buys it some one from time. himself he buys. He's doing it for his family. Luigi tasted ground beef one time beyond beef, and he's not like he, a militant vegan who like hates. He whenever just, he, he tastes or own, smells the ground beef from Beyond Meat Factory, he goes feral and he crosses the stream. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what the game is about. That's preventing that from happening. That's the that's the gameplay you're describing. The, the gameplay game is just, just like make sure Luigi's nose is pinched. Nose is yeah. pinched shut. Yeah, well, come on. I don't think it's ethical to put Luigi through that kind of torture. I think anyone who plays that game should put the controller down, go outside, and do something else. Because <laughs> if you're playing that game, you're putting Luigi through torture. Um, it's a little bit like Undertale. Remember how Undertale, if you play the game, you're a fucking piece of shit? Well, the same with that game. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of... Yeah, that's... Is that was what inspired Undertale? Everyone is always we told blaming Fox Char- is like, Wow, this this seems like really fucking horrible. I bet I could capitalize on this. I Everyone is always blaming one of the evil villain characters in Undertale for putting Luigi through that kind of beef torment. But really, it's the player, and you should stop putting the blame on um, Mario, Toad, to, uh, uh, Bowser, Bowser. Definitely Bowser. I think people, a lot of people, are like Bowser bad guy, but. You bad guy because you, you turned the, the game on. Bad guy. The, the player is the person who turned the game on and made Bowser exist. So, yeah, Mario's life is perfect before you before you fucking launched Super Mario. You wish you had so, Mario's life before if, you turned it on his game on. <laughs> <laughs> you turn the you, yeah. You turn the game on because you're just jealous you, of you, Mario's yeah, awesome you, life. You, you can't stand you can't stand his awesome <laughs> you can't stand the fact that he has the life you always wanted so you turn it on and generate bowsers so that he has to fight them <laughs> you're disrupting his life out of envy Luigi, Luigi was designed to to reflect this the envy why, of the player this is why everyone thinks video games are immortal I- immoral because they, they're like oh it's like fucking you're gonna become this violent this is why people like, think no, video just, games are immortal disrupting because you can just yeah. kill Mario as many times as you want, but every every death removes a tear. <laughs> every single time Mas Mario I. dies, it removes a tear from his eye. <laughs> every time Mario gets hit by a Goomba, it removes a frown from his face. <laughs> so, and I'm confused now. Is it is it, is it is it immoral or not? It sounds like pretty. It's like putting him through this agony is every like, time mario every time mario frowns that's like one less time than all the times he gets the frown in his lifetime and you getting him hit by a goomba is one less minus one frown because he's using it for that right the fr- it's like the frown point is extracted like from his body him and the you're like denying him the full breadth breadth of his life like the full emo- like he like yeah. he'll be really He'll be not but a husk. Yeah. And, you know... Sad. This is important. why I'm campaigning for the stop playing Mario video games 
for for the Nintendo company protest. Um, the Nintendo company, everyone in the t- Nintendo company wants you to stop playing Mario games and hurting their beloved kiddo Mario because he's everything. Everything you do is hurting him, and he feels the boiling coming. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. when the boiling comes, then that's like the last. T- that's that's your last chances before the, bo- like, by twenty twenty eight. There, that's the projection. That's the that's the, like based on the tra- trajectory. The boiling will come by twenty twenty eight. Right. And we're saying stop. What would you like, What would you do it? if like something like horrific, like like horrific event happened, like well, in the middle of I would pod- be sad. Yeah, if it was like. In the middle of the podcast? Yeah, we were recording the podcast and was like, oh my god, it's nuclear bomb. Like, we didn't, we didn't get, like, destroyed by it, but, like, it, it happened and now that's our reality. Like, it, like, it, like if 9-11 happened again. That's, like, that's how what every podcast was, like, in 2001. Yeah. <laughs> every single person that was recording a podcast <laughs> My brother, my fucked. brother and me 2001 podcast. Can we get a <laughs> clip of that, please? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no! That was a really good clip. <laughs> yeah, look at Cliff. Definitely, <laughs> it's, funny, it's funny how Travis McElroy sounded like that. It was funny. It was weird because they, oh, they were no. they were literally just. It was kind of weird how they also predicted. They were like, "Dude, it would be really funny if if a plane went into the tower." That's Evil. really funny, bro. You know it's what, really... Gavian? You've earned it. I'm gonna give you one of your Gavian crystals. <laughs> Oh my god! I've I've been waiting for this for I, so long. I put it on the long. floor. I'm ass- I, I I I just put it on the floor. I'm assuming it's just gonna like float towards you when you go near uh, it. Yeah, it's gonna I'm gonna it's gonna I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna do the like little neg- yeah. Mario sixty four thing where he picks up a star. Okay. Well, I can wait. I can wait a little bit if if you have to like do that for a little bit. Yeah. All right, I did it. It was silent. That you you didn't. Uh, the you the game was better? muted. No, I'll I'll um. I'll I'll turn the music on. I have well, wait, hold on. I have I can, I can, I can wall jump now. Okay. Well, I think I think you could do that before. Yeah. No, I because you, you I, before when you when they took away all my crystals and I have to get them back to unlock my, my who full took powers your crystals? Again. You did. How'd Gavian, you, how'd you, hold on, hold on a second, Gavian. Who took your crystals? <laughs> you did. Gabe, you're not making any sense. <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> calm down, <laughs> slow your breathing, and then tell me again what who did it. Bowser. Oh, that crusty old Bowser. He's gonna get a <laughs> whipping from me and my posse, and they're all all their names are fucking that's, that's stupid really fucking shit that crude I don't remember. <laughs> just, it's not crude. Say that. You know, this is a, this you know, is a family is friendly podcast where we make nine eleven jokes. Is Cruise Two coming out? Uh, Has Cruise Two? I think Cruise, Cruise Two already I come look, out. I oh wait, yes, it, it did. Oh, it did. I just saw that. Oh close right, this, yeah, this it did Quora come thing. out. How could I forget? <laughs> do you want to talk about the Quora thing? I don't know. Do you do you want to talk about the Quora thing? <laughs> Before the episode started, um, me and Gavin were were talking about Pee Wee's of Rest in two thousand two for for masturbating yeah. in a pornographic theater um so i was like gavian is it are you allowed to masturbate in a public bathroom <laughs> because like you're not you, like you can do a lot of the things that you can't do in public in a bathroom you can pee you can poop like you can't poop on the floor in in public yeah so People i so i looked it up on on quora <laughs> and i looked it up on quora and there's this guy called alucard dracula from three three years ago who answered it with um let me just see. <laughs> Are you gonna read it out? Yeah, well it's important. It's All important right. that people know. So they said, I would say if kids aren't around, go ahead. I went in a public restroom once and there was an old guy there. I wanna say late forties, I was like twenty two. I think it was just us two and I was pissing. I just happened to look and I was hello. 
And I looked down and he was hard and masturbating. And I guess I was staring for longer than I thought. And he said, and he said, you want to help me out? And I just went for it. I grabbed it and started stroking him. I didn't suck his dick or anything like that. He was just squeezing my ass every now and then. He stroked me like he actually took a while before he climaxed. And he finally came. It was cool, crazy shit. I don't regret it. He wanted my number and I told him, no, I don't live the area. And left. Never saw him again. This actually happens more often than people think. I noticed a lot of older men do this. And I really don't know why I don't know if this goes on in the women's side. Very curious. I feel like this is okay. Well, actually, I think this is like glossed over the detail that not like we were talking about like in like a stall, like doing it like on like on like a toilet in like a stall, but this guy was like doing it like at a urinal. At the urinal, <laughs> which is which like, is like not <laughs> what was being asked. I don't yeah. think. Like I don't think you can do it at a urinal. I mean, I think I think doing it in a urinal is like infinitely worse than like doing it in, a, in like a in like a in like a enclosed stall actually why is peeing in a urinal even okay isn't that weird like you can just like stand you can just like stand in full view of everybody everyone can just like look at your penis i've never used a urinal and i will never do it anyone can just look at the parabola of your pee going into the toilet at any time (laughs) like they can just go in there there's the people got like half of the population on average they're gonna like have like cameras. <laughs> Nothing stopping you from like going over there, looking at like the fucking the fucking quadratic curve of somebody's no, pee going into a urinal and then leave. There's no, there's nothing stopping you from like going out to them and like grabbing them by the shoulders and whipping them around and making them pee all over you. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's nothing stopping that from happening. <laughs> <laughs> that's why i don't use them i'm not prepared for that inevitability because there's, there's nothing stopping stop. there's nothing stopping them from grabbing your penis and turning it <laughs> turning it 180 degrees to point the other direction so you start peeing in the sink instead <laughs> <laughs> there's no law against that <laughs> there's no, they, they there's never, nothing they, in the they law. never George Washington never considered it. You could you you don't even get suspended from school for doing you don't get any you get in trouble at you're all. Power, you're powerless. You can do that whenever you powerless want. Powerless to stop this. It's a cruel world out there, but got to got to be careful. At least we still have Mario at least until 2028 <laughs> when the boiling comes. <laughs> yeah. By the well, way, um we can, that's can we just why start I, watching movies about Mario? Like, I mean, why do we have to? Why we? Why do we have to subject him through p- things happening in the present when we can just watch things that happened in the past? Well, then it's well, it's it's different because it's kind of like this. It was it's, instead of being cruel to Mario, now it's cruel to like Chris Pratt. The, the that's, similarities that's, between Mario and Pagliacci are abound. I don't know what that is. Pagliacci? No, I do. I do not know what that is. Don't you know like the. The, the the thing about the clown that goes to the therapist and the therapist is like, you should go watch Pagliacci. He's the funniest fucking clown I've ever seen. He's so <laughs> fucking stupid and dumb and he smells like shit probably, I bet. And then Pagliacci's like, that's fucking me. That's me. I'm going to get you me, fired man. from your job. Like, that's like <laughs> I'm going to get you... Man. Yeah, that, it's, it's all about a mean-ass therapist and the clown getting He's him someone. fired. <laughs> That's all it's about. Yeah. It's fucked up. And then the therapist kills his wife and kids. It's a really good play. Um it's got it's it's seven minutes long. <laughs> they basically you, cover everything they need to you, talk about in the seven minutes. Would you would you go to see a seven minute long like like theater theatrical play? Like like only if, if it was like was seven minutes long, would you watch it? Only if it was opening for another one. I see. <laughs> Like if it, it like was if, like a chain of like it was like, like seven hundred seven minute plays. <laughs> that's probably already exists. That's probably like yeah, the. I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna look at. That. I'm gonna see what the sh- what's the shortest play. Um, waiting for Gatto director's cut. Gatto shows up. <laughs> <laughs> it was, what was the the thirty se- There is a there's a thirty second one. There's a the shortest. Se- oh, yeah. oh, great! It's the called, shortest play ever. It's called Breathe. It's just probably just a guy breathing. <laughs> Call me up, Guinness. <laughs> Check it out. I can go on stage and just sit there for thirty seconds and go get up, get down. I can go. I can go on stage funky. and take a shit and then walk off, and I can do it faster than this, <laughs> this play. World smelliest play. <laughs> <laughs> World.
world's freaking most disgusting freaking play ever freaking put. <laughs> <laughs> and it's 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 a highly con- contested um place in the in the record book because World's like it, it's what is like, play I go on I go on I go on stage and I go I go up to the cent- to the front of the stage and I start peeing on the audience <laughs> world's most world's <laughs> most covered in pee play <laughs> world's most world's most pee-ish peeing play world's most penis play <laughs> world's world's <laughs> most World's most penises in a play ever. <laughs> yeah. Most pee to ever attend a live performance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Actually, I want to look... What, Are you looking at Guinness World Records for <coughs> penis world yeah, records? Yeah, I'm looking... I want to see what the actual fucking... The plot of this 30-second play is. It consists of the sound of an instant of recorded... Vedicus, a birth cry, followed by an amplified recording of someone slowly inhaling and exhaling, accompanied by an increase and decrease in the intensity of the light. There is then a second identical cry, and the piece ends. No people are seen on the stage, but Beckett states that there's no way, there's, there should be littered with miscellaneous rubbish. So there's just a bunch of trash on the stage, and there's no actual people. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I like that. <laughs> it's, I don't know. It's, it seems like. It's are, like, you, are they sure it was a play and it wasn't just like a janitor going fucking insane because of yeah. all the garbage that was on stage? Yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> how is it even a play if there's no one? That's just a like an audio recording played, and like some lights dimming and, and like then the, there's no actual, there's no acting. A bunch of kids just vandalized the theater and played the fucking femur breaker <laughs> scream. Yeah, and I can, left. <laughs> yeah. A bunch of kids just like, like oh. just mess with the like the 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 sound system and like the lights and went throw a bunch of shit on the stage and then then that's the play. <laughs> yeah. That's what that's what this guy did and and he and everyone everyone like sucks his dick because of it probably. Who's dick? everyone? Um, fucking Samuel Beckett, this most fucking dick, son of a bitch. M- most most head <laughs> by a single. <laughs> He, single... look, he, he looks like a Star Wars Imperial, like a like Mo- a he'll be a Wait, like an Samuel Imperial Beckett. guy. Yeah, he looks like he looks like fucking like Moff. What's his face? Wait a minute, isn't that the fucking guy who did Waiting for Godo? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought wait, I thought you were just wait. That's the thing. I thought you were just saying something like a nonsense thing, like waiting for Gado. I thought that was just a thing you made up, but that's an actual thing. I, I didn't fucking make up waiting for Gado. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It is waiting for Gado. But I thought I thought that was. I thought you made that up because it sounded Samuel funny. Beckett. Samuel Beckett definitely has the penis world record for most smexy <laughs> playwright. Yeah. Most sexy playwright and also most dick sucks. <laughs> Um, for a playwright, <laughs> in, yeah, in 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 a playwright's name, William William Shakespeare was was fucking so jealous jealous of this. He was so he jealous. Came back to life. Yeah, he came back to life to 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 fucking get his um, mojo back. Yeah, and then <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if what would you do if like do you think if my like, mojo was you, stolen, probably get it back. <laughs> what would you do? What would you think would happen if like they resurrected um like. Shakespeare and they and they it were like okay you have to they you have to do this thing it's called TikTok you have to make all these TikTok you have to make a really good TikTok I, and it, what would you what would you think would happen what would you, what would he what would he do to well I think of, what would happen is he would he would assume that 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 there was no time limit on how long he can make his thing <laughs> so he would just like and it would be like this yeah it would be like these the somber opening of a, of a new play from him and it would just be like 60 seconds and then it would just cut it that would be yeah that's it that seems like yeah, the most realistic and then, and, answer and then he fucking dies and that's that's like there's as, like, soon, there's, as the, soon as the tiktok is as soon as he completes his quota of tiktoks he dies yeah and the quota of tiktoks is one <laughs> <laughs> well, it's actually two. The the first one is, "Hey guys, it's me, William Shakespeare. I'm gonna make some TikToks today." And the, the <laughs> second one is the last one. I wanna make some. I wanna make some um tickled talks today on on this magic. How magic would you box. feel? Okay, how would you feel if you died? Right? Okay, so yeah. you're dead. Okay, I am dead. Hear me out. <laughs> so, okay, I'm hearing you out. One thousand years pass. Um, you wake up. Um, and a bunch of scientists are surrounding you, and they say. Gavian, well, because that's what, how they remember you. That's your that's like it's, that's, that's the, your legacy. They, it's like it's like they, if Madonna died. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> um, yes, I... <clears throat> and they said, Gavian, the year is 3022. You yeah. died like just now. You died tomorrow. And t- a thousand years passed. And the scientists say, <laughs> Gavian, the year is November 26, 3022. <laughs> <laughs> it's been exactly 1,000 years since your death. Yeah, your someone... mojo has been stolen, and we need you to get it back. <laughs> I would, I would, I would probably, I would, I would probably fucking have like a breakdown, and I would, I would, I would be the, it would like to be the most traumatic and like everything it, that could ever happen to me, and then I'd be like, okay, and I would like, yeah. I would, I would take like a day to recover, and then I'd be like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm ready, prepared to get my mojo. They show you a picture of the person who stole your mojo, and it's a me, but I'm like really tall. <laughs> You're like, like really tall. Really, you, you didn't, I, I you didn't die and you like, just no lived for a thousand years. No one's ever been able to kill me because I'm too tall. They can't reach my head. <laughs> they, they can't. They can't shoot it. It's like ten miles. They in the can't air. shoot me. It's too far. Away. And they, yeah. And and every time they try to like shoot my legs off, my legs just like go down like tre- Tetris style, connect again. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So I basically can't die, and I'm just like so tall. Because that's the thing with me is that I'm a more. You know how alligators just keep growing? Yeah. I just my legs just kept growing, so I'm like really tall. I'm. They call me. They call me the the stilt. Um. The the stilt. The stilt, madame. The, the stilt, madame. <laughs> okay, and the I stole, would, would, stole your mojo from beyond the I grave, would, and now I would you're you to, fucking... I would lure you to bend down with a with a delicious burger. Okay, um, yeah, I do it really, <laughs> really sexily. <laughs> I do it like the most sexy you ever d- imagined. Okay, I would throw it, then I would it's, throw a gun at your head <laughs> when you bend well, down. Like, okay, but it. hold on, it's so sexy that you pass out. You're dead again. <laughs> okay, you died from I, a heart do, attack do, because do of how sexy it is. Do we have one? Along with everyone in a one mile radius. <laughs> <laughs> do so it. now I am stronger because of the burger food, and then you are dead. So okay, well, do I? I guess I've, I've I guess I failed the check. I failed the challenge. Well, there's I one last the thing. Yeah. You can you can activate your Vegeta card. Vegeta <laughs> appears in a vision to you, and he tells you to keep fighting. You can you can either choose to activate your Vegeta card or. Or pass your or, or or skip your turn. What happens if I skip my turn? Um, I I get to I ate another burger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still dead though. Do I just can I, can I just yeah? Rest? And you still have your card. You still have your Vegeta card. So I feel can... like I, I feel like I just wouldn't be afraid to die anymore because I've already done. So I would just pass on again. Okay, so I eat the burger. Okay, so it's your turn now. Do you want to activate your Vegeta <laughs> card? <laughs> Is Vegeta just gonna constantly like torment me in my afterlife now? Yeah, he's just gonna keep asking you if you want to activate your Vegeta card. <laughs> he's way, he's very s- patient, but he's insistent. <laughs> I mean, fucking pissed. <laughs> you won't stop asking if you want to activate your Vegeta do card. I, do, I, you do I only have one? Yes I would. I mean, I'm probably like after yes like. Eventually. Like, is it just, like, a constant, like, <laughs> it's probably, like, fucking fine, I would activate it. Well, okay, so he keeps asking you about the Vegeta card. Yeah, after, like, a day of, of this constant fucking nagging by this by Vegeta, I activate it. Okay, at this point, that it's been, like, 2,000 turns, right? <laughs> so I've eaten 2,000 burgers, <laughs> I'm so strong. Did you like? Did you like clone the burger I made you? No. Well, every time you die, every time you skipped your turn, I got to take. I got to take one turn to recharge with a burger. Okay. Well, so you just you just thought it was such a good idea to, to eat burgers because since I made you one, that you just kept doing it. Well, yeah. I see. There's nothing else to do. There's no other way to spend my turn. I could. I. I, I could have. Um. <laughs> I could have attacked you, but you were dead. Right. Okay. I, I didn't want to spend my mana on some goblins. They would have left, and they would have aged and left. All right. What 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 benefits do I get from the from the Vegeta card? The Vegeta card basically, you Vegeta says, uh, Gavian, you can't give up yet. It's your destiny to kill the stilts, Madame, and retrieve your stolen mojo, and live <laughs> in the three twenty twos, surrounded in amazing, beautiful uh, babes, and uh, do some other cool shit. Um, I would just. My name is Vegeta. And that's pretty much everyone, it. <laughs> everyone else that I ever know, ever known, is dead. And, and then my one of my dearest friends, Not I me. have to kill. Y- you yeah. don't have to. Ki- well, I guess you. Yeah, you do. 
It sucks. You just have to get your you just, you just have to get your mojo back from me, and then um, can I? I don't know. I, I you want know, I will I will I my I I I fucking I steal my resolve, and I will be I will do I will do this. Okay. I I attack you with my well no hold fist. on you you use your turn to do the Vegeta card okay, okay. so it's not your turn anymore <laughs> so it's my turn now um, I step on you <laughs> I, I I use my step attack step on you um, and it pierces through your skull and your all your bones and you die <laughs> well, okay <laughs> does he does he keep fucking nagging do I. Do I get to so you finally you, rest? You have no more Vegeta cards. That was your last Vegeta card. <laughs> Do I get to rest now? Do I get to rest well, in dead peace? For, yeah, you're dead forever. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> your mojo has gone. Um, to one hundred thousand years past. <laughs> the year is one hundred three hundred two two, and like robots show up and they they say, um, they're they're talking a language you don't understand, but you understand from context clues and like phantom mime. That they're asking you to get your mojo back. Um, I'm still alive. I'd be pissed. I would, I I'd be pissed. I would start peeing on them to kill them. Okay. <laughs> they, they shoot you down. They shoot you dead. <laughs> because in this world, peeing is war. <laughs> I was. I was. I know. I was doing war. I was. I was attacking them. <laughs> Infinity years pass. Nothing's left. It's all. It's all like a white void. Um. You w- wake up and um. Uh. You wake up and. It's a kids react video. And that's what the universe is now. <laughs> I'm just forever I'm just forever in a kids react video. That's what the universe is now. Oh, I see. After infinity years. <laughs> <laughs> and it's kids react to um to you having your mojo stolen and you can like and you and you, you you feel your consciousness transferred into the video, and you're like controlling the little guy in the video. I would I would be, I would I would I would be in absolute agony. I would I would just curse the meat. <laughs> I would just be I would just be like I wish I've never eaten that 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 okay, well, that, good job, that poison good job. turkey because of because of your swearing and cussing <laughs> that Pine Bros gets taken off YouTube, and now the universe is dead. Okay. There's no more universe. Oh, thank, thank God. <laughs> okay. God, I I I. I that's all I ever I wanted. I just want to rest after okay, I fucking so, ate so that poison turkey. So basically, gave you and you just you just single handedly destroyed the entire universe. <laughs> there's no more. There's nothing left for the, forever for all eternity. There's Good. no more atoms. There's no more quarks. There's no more. French there's no fry. more Big Bang. There's no more Big Bang. There might be a Big Bang later. But probably not. There's no more French fry. <laughs> there's no more gravy. There's no more curds. <laughs> there's no more green onions. <laughs> There's, there's no more. Um, what else goes in poutine? Uh, there's no more fucking <laughs> ch- cheese. It's fucking poutine. I don't there's think no I don't think I've ever had poutine because I don't I don't live there. I don't understand why poutine is just a Canada thing. Like it's not that. Like it's not like we, we're the only people who have cheese curds. We don't. We we're, we're we're being fucking censored. Yeah, yeah. You guys are being. They're they're withholding your your medicine. Yeah. No. What did it? What is? What is it? They they what they they're, they're, they they feed us poison, so we buy their cures they, while they yeah, suppress they our medicine. Po- yeah, they feed you poison, and they suppress your cure. They, they, we they feed they they feed you poison, and then you buy the and so you buy their medicine while they suppress your cures. No, it's and the other way. Poison. It's the, it's, it's the other way. They f- they feed you poison so you buy their m- buy their cures key. while you while they suppress your medicine. Yeah. Okay, so the medicine is poutine, obviously, and the cure is um, the, the chili uh, fries, McDonald's. I guess. McDonald's and the, what's the poison? I don't. Um, what's the po- living in America? <laughs> Hunger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not having access to poutine. I think <laughs> it'd be pretty on the nose if if. If po- the poison was not poutine and the cure was p- poutine, <laughs> it's just literally 1984. That's all. I think. I think the poison is probably just Ebola injections. <laughs> I think the poison is literally just shooting us in the head with 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 rifles and guns. The, the poison is Ebola. Um, the cure is the cure to Ebola, and the medicine is the medicine that treats Ebola. <laughs> <laughs> they feed us. They're feeding you guys Ebola poison down there. Yeah. 
they 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 face a bowl and they 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 yeah they when give you, us they you, when give you us, could be having a bowl of poutine they give yeah. you a bowl of poison <laughs> they give they give a a bowl of Ebola a bowl of cereal <laughs> a bowl of cereal do you ever hear there's like a thing there's like a thing where it was like cereal bars and it was like fucking you would pay like ten dollars for like a bowl of cereal at these like shitty cereal bars where it's like yeah but then you go to a cereal bar and you ask for a bowl of cereal and they give you you know and then they give you and then they give you fucking they give you covid cereal and you're like i didn't ask for that and they're like oops sorry um i'm really uh, sorry about that i didn't actually th- um, this we is, don't this care is my fault. we don't care anymore kill every single thing remember, ever. remember when like everyone in america was super scared about ebola yeah, that I was, was scared. My mom was so scared, and I, don't, I, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Everyone, like everyone's gonna die. Basically, is what I, I thought. remember. I remember thinking like I was not scared about that, like, and I was not scared about that, and then I also wasn't scared about COVID, and then that was wrong. My mom was it, insanely scared about Ebola, more so than COVID. Yeah, that's it's like, <laughs> yeah, like, like she's like, I guess because I guess because Ebola, like, you fucking die if you, you get it, don't you? Yeah, you. Definitely, it, like, it'll, like, fuck you up in a gruesome and, and disgusting way, whereas, like, it's, like, whereas, like, COVID was, like, like... COVID is, like, you... There's, have, like, a good chance that you'll die, but it's... It's, like, it's just... It's, but not as bad. I don't know. It's... People are weird. Ebola could come back, though. Like, that's the, oh. that's the scary part. Like, what if in, like, 2120 it comes back? What if... What if it come? What anyone, if it came back today? Dies. What if it came back yesterday? We don't even know what yet. What if it? What if it? What if it just came out and I've been playing it and it's actually pretty good? <laughs> it actually yeah. it actually exceeds my expectations for the Ebola franchise. That, that this is actually really good. I I I thought that their like the Ebola's transition to open world wouldn't work out, but it's actually really but, pretty but, pretty well executed. I don't know. I thought that didn't they have there's lots of like bugs and stuff with it. And it was bad performance, but. I mean, it was fun. I mean, I, I mean, I I bought it. I pre-ordered it, but I bought I, it. I pre-ordered. I pre-ordered it. I pre-ordered. I, I got it. I, I injected I pre- it into my body. I I bodied it. I bodied it, and I preed. <laughs> 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 oh, you oh you pre-ordered the game. How about you pre? <laughs> how about you? How about you, oh you pre-ordered the game? How about you peer into your organs? <laughs> oh, you got that game on day one. Why don't you um? Why don't you swallow my gay cum? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you! Oh, you got that game on day two. Why don't you eat some? Poo. Get on the toilet. Why don't you get on the toilet? Do a gay poo. <laughs> oh, you! You bought it on day three. Why don't you go to the urinal? Do a gay pee. <laughs> oh, what's it's, that? It's, you bought it, it all, on day it's four. It all comes back together. Dude, that, that one, those one guys did a gay pee. <laughs> this guy bought it on. Gay, this guy got this guy this guy got it on day four. He went to the church and got gay more. <laughs> this guy, this uh, seriously, this is real. I heard a guy got 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 Ebola on day five, and he went to he turned into a bee and went into a gay hive. That's like real. That's actually the, like really what happened. That's why people are so scared of it. There, there was this kid on the news that got the Ebola game on day six, and he he went into the nature and picked up gay sticks. <laughs> That's just like a real thing that happened. That was like on the news. Okay, so the, well, the, I mean, you saying all these Gabe, different. What things, day okay. did you get it on? I got it on day nine, and but then after that, I to be honest, I actually went out and did some gay crime. So. That's interesting because I um I I know someone who got it on day nine and he he actually um got some cocaine and he did, did a gay line, <laughs> <laughs> and then um he 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 parked in a handicap spot got a gay fine. <laughs> I'm drinking some water out of a can. It's sparkling. And Let's delete that entire bit that we just did. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Every single part of it, like like all the way, like the entire thing. You just put like a just, just, just put just like a thing. thing. It's like just like put like a thing where it was like this is not like I think we should replace it with like a thing where it was. Oh my god! Okay, I was I was looking on CNN news for like a bit. What yeah. the Fuck. Okay, sorry. Um. So it turns out that fucking you know you know the guy who was like who like found out who the Zodiac Killer was. Yeah. 
he he bought the Ebola game on day twelve, and then he went went to Best Buy and took all the games off the gay shelves. <laughs> why, why would are they allowed to like say shit like that on CNN? There's a there's a picture they should they put a picture of it on. Yeah, he's like in here. He's in here taking the games off the gay shelves. It is what the fuck. They, they shouldn't. Are they allowed? Okay, this is so why I voted for to do that? for a Kringle fucker. That's that's a. This that's is like a not safe for life. Weapon. I think they should. This is like when fucking Peta did that thing about like the dogs. Yeah. This is like when Peta got Ebola on day thirteen, <laughs> <laughs> and okay. went on Twitter decided to get mean. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't even gay mean. Well, they they did some gay mean later on. And it was super tofu boy. Haha. Ah, uh, super sexy boy. I just had an idea. Let's do a series where we play every single one of PETA's games. <laughs> <laughs> and we have to speedrun every single one of PETA's games. Okay, let me let me look up the PETA games. PETA game. Nah. The, uh, Pokemon Black and Blue. Um, Mario Kills Tanuki. Um, Cooking Mama, Mama Kills Animals, and Super Tofu Boy. Did they do anything else? Probably, they're not really that good of game developers. We should develop reckon. a game for PETA and then publish it under PETA's name and it should yeah. be called Here, let's Super come up Super with Bacon it right Destroyer. Now. What's that? Super Bacon Destroyer. Super Bacon Destroyer. Okay, so Yeah, they but they, but they destroy the bacon by by eating it. Wait, so are they the villains? No, that's who you play as. He's You play he's, as a guy who eat you play eats, as someone who eats he, bacon. Yeah. That's he it's his noble it's his noble sacrifice. How do He's you... like, I, I'm doing this to prevent anyone else from eating any more bacon, so we can all uh, okay, live so, a vegan. So basically, he's, he's eating like the... all the bacon, so there's no more bacon. Yeah. He he, he, okay. he hates to do it, but he, he knows he must. That would be really cool <laughs> if the main protagonist was a femboy, I think. <laughs> that's my big that's my big suggestion. <laughs> it sounds like a fucking, like, someone, like, a suggestion someone would do from, like, Reddit. <laughs> Like someone like be like, hey, hey, Reddit, this is this is my new game I developed. Any any recommend any any suggestions? Any Pretty recommendations? cool, but I think it'd be really interesting if the heckin' bacon boy was a was was a fem boy. <laughs> I, think could, I think if you could if you could um if you if you can make if this you game implement that if you can add more fem boys this game that I might have to recommend it. But please I'll probably, implement I'll more fem boys. probably it, but I, I will recommend it. I'm, I gotta say, pimp, which stands for please implement more fem boys. <laughs> would you? You just try to get that. You just like. Comment on Reddit like posts like that. Pimp. <laughs> just yeah, pimp. pimp. Yeah. Please implement more fan R slash, Yeah, R slash game dev just pimp, <laughs> pimping all around. Just, just like con- I'm, gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna add a comment. I would some- say I I would say I'm a, bl- a bit of a pimp pimpster. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a pimp um of a pimp wimp, which is what we're called. We're not wimps, but what is what? Gavin, can you can you come up with an acronym for pimp wimp? For me, what? Because I I know that in like P I M F W I M P. Like what does that? I don't know. What, what's that got? I don't I, know. I know that the first part. I know the first part's got to be. Please implement more femboys. P- please implement more femboys. Um, when <laughs> I don't I don't know. I I'm being put on the spot right now. You're 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 shining a flashlight on my what, eyes um, and you're scaring please me. Please implement more femboys. W- wealth is my payment. <laughs> So well, it's like, please implement more femboys. I'm gonna give you a lot of money if you do. I see. Yeah, yeah, that that makes sense. I wanna look up game. So people look at people look and they it says like pimp comma wimp exclamation point and they think it's bad unless they know exactly what it means. In which case they're like, it, it's like money is no object to me. Please put more femboys in your game. I will give yeah, you. Yeah, I will give you infinite money. Whatever you want. Dark fantasy city builder. Dark Fantasy actually, City I'm not, I'm not gonna, is more... Actually, I'm not gonna fucking just comment, like, please add more Femboys on, like, a random fucking... Do it! I don't know, I'm not even What's seeing wrong? any... This is like a... Actually, I don't know. Why, is, why, why getting, can't getting, you? I'm getting cold feet. I'm gonna get scared. People are gonna make you fun have, of me. Oh, and you have cold on me. feet now? I have cool feet you now. Know, be cool. It'd be cool if Femboys had cold feet, I think. <laughs> Maybe. That would just be interesting. I think it, it would just be kind of an interesting thing to yeah. happen to uh, um, Femboys. Yeah, there's gotta be there's gotta be like at least like one person out there that like is like has like a foot fetish, but like they they're, it's they're really in- interested in the in the actual temperature of the feet. It has to be a certain temperature, otherwise there's they're not interested. Be, yeah, I mean, come on, come on. I think so. I think I think if we all bend together, we we can we can achieve this. We can make this happen. We can get someone. We can just like subliminally like convince someone that this is, and that they will they will adopt it as their own fetish. Totally, bro. Yeah. 
This is Operation Cold Feet. <laughs> Isn't that like isn't that like a like a kid's next door to, um like a thing that they did in the show where it's like this is this is operation did, and, they, and it was something else. Wait, what the fuck is uh, Project Cold Feet was a 1962 cent- central intelligence agency op- operation to extract intelligence from an abandoned Soviet arc drifting ice station due to the nature of its abandonment and result of unstable ice. The retrieval of the operatives used the Fulton surface to air recovery system. Yeah. I think it'd be cool if there were more femboys in this story. I think. Yeah, I think they, they I think they should have more fun. Let me let me just mad lib this a little bit. Project Cold Feet was a 1962 Central Femboy Agency to <laughs> operation to extract intelligence from an abandoned femboy drifting ice station. <laughs> Due to the nature of its abandonment and the result of unstable of our femboys, the retrieval of the femboys used the Fulton femboy to air recovery <laughs> system. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I just got tingles all over my back <laughs> from how from how think, from how crazy good that was. And boy, the air retrieval system. From boy to air retrieval system. So I just I just fucking exploded. <laughs> I, I, it, it, I'm imagining like a tornado kind of thing. It's like like it's like fucking like a UFO like going over a cow like a. Like a UFO arm. going over a cow. A cow going over a cow. <laughs> <laughs> like a UFO, yeah, a UFO sucking up a cow. That's like <laughs> a, a, cow. Little, a little, a cow, a little cow, a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, why would they do it with cows? They probably would have to test it with like chickens because they had, a, they had a, yeah, they had a prototype on chickens and then they moved up to cows. Chickens. What I'm thinking. And hear me out. Let me know if this is crazy. But wouldn't it be easier to lift up something little? <laughs> yeah, they should lift up like ants and, and spiders. Aren't and stuff. cows like the most heaviest animals ever, besides horses and mooses <laughs> and elephants and hippos and blue whales and sharks and hippopotamuses and rhinoceroses and all the others? Uh, aren't yeah. they like aren't they, aren't, they, aren't they like the lightest animal ever? Yeah, I, they aren't they, aren't they like microscopic and have like eight legs and they they swim yeah so the, like why don't they do it with cows and, and instead of they, like, like, they're survive. always doing it with chickens yeah they, i cows? think they should yeah they should start lifting up ants and stuff why don't they do it with themselves yeah why do they have to do it with a cow i don't understand why they had to do it why they have to like test their ufo thing with because that's the thing they all had they, they, they're like hey I, hey hey farmer can i test I out my they, equipment think, with your cow i think that they just didn't they weren't asking permission to test them i think they just i think they were just hungry and they wanted a big burger but they don't. They no. I'm pretty sure they're doing it to just to test if they can lift up stuff. <laughs> have you asked them? Yeah. Can you? Can you? Can I have their number? Yeah. Any, it's um. Uh, it's six four, and at the end there's an exclamation point. Uh, Did you put pretty, it in? Cool. Are you calling them? Uh. This number isn't in service anymore. Okay. Well, they don't want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Okay. They that's, don't want to talk to fine. you. That's fine. That's fine. I, I'll, I'll, I'll get over it. That's fine. I'm not, I'm not shaking with, with, with incredible rage right now. It's fine. That's okay. It's okay I'll, if you're shaking with incredible rage because, I mean, you know what that reminds me of? Twerking. And you know what that reminds <laughs> me of? Femboys. <laughs> it's all, it's all, <laughs> it's, it's all, all connected. Back. It's all connected. Everything's connected. Give me, give me anything. Give me, give me the, the least femboy. Give me the opposite of femboys. Um, Lens wipes. Are lens wipes the opposite of femboys? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't really process that part first, so I just, I just, <laughs> I just saw something that was like on my desk. <laughs> okay, lens that. wipes. Um, ocular, ocular lenses. Um, Oculus Rift. Uh, <laughs> virtual reality. Phasmophobia. Um, you missed. You fan, totally fan. missed VR chat, which you could have immediately gone. Okay, Oculus Rift. VR chat. Um, VR chat. VR chat femboys that are on VR chat because they're everywhere. Femboys that are on V. Femboys that be on. Well, femboys be on phasmophobia too. Yeah, but you don't really. You don't know it. They're in disguise. Fem femboy. <laughs> well, what about femboy phobia? Um, that's phasmophobia. Just, go to femboy phobia. Sounds sounds similar. Femboys. All right. I I that makes. Give sense. me one more thing. Give me one more, and and I'll give you a point if I can't get it in ten. Um. Um. No six. Six. I'll get, I'll do it in six. How about um, Rosetta Stone? Rosetta Stone. Okay. <clears throat> I might have. I might Rosetta have Stone. Penny Rose. 
spaghettification, getting sucked into a black hole, getting sucked, femboys. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, okay, it's really like I, the new I, degrees I, from Bacon thing. It's like the degrees from fem, so, from femboy. Yeah, it's every degree. It's, it's just six degrees of femboy bacon. <laughs> Holy shit, bacon. The pita bacon game that we were making oh. that has femboys in it. <laughs> <laughs> Looked up. Everything is femboys. Time fem- is a circle. I, le- legitimately, everything is femboys. You're a circle. I'm a circle. Femboys are a circle. <laughs> when they all go together and, 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 and hold circle. their arms together around the world. <laughs> that's what, that's, what, the that's, world. that's how we're going to achieve world peace. It's going to be like that one thing in Invader Zim where they have to they have to like circle the world and like the thing that's gonna be like that except it's gonna be femboys and that's gonna happen in real life in 2032. On a on a tangentially related note, can the person who's commenting pimp on the r slash femboys around the world subreddit fucking stop? <laughs> How are we supposed to implement more femboys to the world itself? Well, they're born. Yeah, we do, we do you want to give birth to more femboys? You have to do like femboy eugenics. It's gonna be it's gonna be doesn't fucked up, under- but it's gonna be necessary. Doesn't he understand equivalent exchange? For every femboy born, one femboy must die. <laughs> it's like there can only there's only there's always a static number of femboys across the world. <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's always a specific number of femboys. Yeah, <laughs> we have to discover that number. I'm pretty do- sure it's like common knowledge that it's like a, a million. <laughs> there's only there's only a million exactly. femboys around the world at any given time. <laughs> yeah, every time a femboy dies, another femboy takes th- takes its place. <laughs> it's fucked up. I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna look up on Google how many femboys are there. <laughs> if, I get, if I get a specific, what if I get like a number down to like is like like, like six significant digits? <laughs> like I would, like I would be, I would be scared. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, if, I'd be like concern for the for the femboy population it's like it's like, it's like i would think that they were like increasing a, and decreasing on my screen <laughs> I would, it's I like would, a perfect estimate it's like it's like a sense of like a live count every, <laughs> it's like going down rapidly every every <laughs> no it's so bad how many femboys are ex- i'd be scared for my life i wouldn't know i wouldn't how that's many, a lie i wouldn't be scared how many femboys are there estimates of cross-dressing males Oh my god, is there an actual... <laughs> Let's just say 1% of males are femboys. That's still 35 million femboys worldwide, <laughs> just sort of the population of Canada. Oh shit. I think actually we should be the ones that are scared. That's a total... That's a to, that's, you know, that's totally a coincidence. It's just totally a coincidence that all the <laughs> all the femboys are exactly as much as all the people in Canada. That's totally a... I don't, I don't know. I don't... That's like, that's weird, though. That's like weird. That's spooky. Um, Can we stop the... Can we stop talking about the... Can we talk about something else? Um, Let's talk about... Fem men. No one, everyone Fem gives it. No, everyone, everyone's always shitting their pants and like coming over femboys, but no one ever gives a shit about the fem men out there. Femboys, two fem men. We're talking too much about the- femboys. I think I think people are gonna think that people we we we've passed the threshold of what's the threshold of where people are gonna like be suspicious. So like people are people are gonna think that we actually love femboys. Yeah. As opposed to what, um, thinking that we hate fem like <laughs> there's a, it's lying? a bi- it's a binary it's a binary thing. You either hate femboys or you or you love them. There's no in between. Everyone everyone um, has to pick a side. What side well, are you on? Well, I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure I've been in between two femboys once or twice in, <laughs> in my lifetime. How can you? You're a fucking lesbian, lesbian. Uh, Listen, I make the time for femboys. <laughs> <laughs> I you know I I'm a lesbian, but I you know sometimes I like to sit down it's, and it, and enjoy it's out of a sheer appreciation. I just sometimes I just I just like to sit down and enjoy a cold hard femboy. <laughs> you can appreciate, Gavian. Have you ever just loved? Sometimes I put femboy in my yeah, coffee in the have morning. Have you ever just <laughs> loved Pepsi so much that you wanted to have sex with it? It's not like uh, you're sexually attracted to Pepsi. You just want to have sex with Pepsi so badly. Uh, because you love it so much. No. Let's let's think of another example. Roblox. Febreze. Febreze. Um, Breeze. Febreze. Uh, s- uh, skirts. Femboy. There you go. Ziggy's Ziggy's sandwich meats. <laughs> uh, Legoland. Uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Abacuses. What are you What are you even saying, man? I'm saying, are, are, have any of these things gotten you so horny? Even no. Even though you're not sexually attracted to them. No. Are you sure? Let me think of some other things. Um, how about um? I think we're I think we're dying. I think we're we're having a disease. 
No, it's okay. Don't worry. Um, we just gotta I have a disease. say a couple me. more things so that when I so that when I cut this down, it'll be over forty minutes long. Ah, uh, listen, Gavian. Here, I'll give you. I'll, I'll do a massage for you. Whoa, 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 whoa! Luna, Don't cry. I'm, I'm, I, I'm turning into mush. Here is what I'm gonna do for you. I'm gonna give you ten mush pills right now. But I will. And if the mush pills do don't it. work, then you, then I'll give you twelve mush pills. And if those mush pills don't work, I'll give you fourteen mush pills. <laughs> and if those mush pills, Luna, you're gonna, you're exceeding the the the, the safe the safe mush pill dose right now. Um, I don't have any mush pills right now. I was lied. I was lying. I was making. Uh, I was taking the piss. I was pretty much taking the piss uh, out of you. Uh, Oh, oh, gave you. Oh, oh, shit. He's been reduced. <laughs> his, his his identity has been reduced. For the love of God, help me. This is honestly really strong. G- gave you being a d- reduced to a small rodent is really strong. Ah, uh... dude, the way he wiggles his nose is really strong. <laughs> the way Gavian wiggles his nose, searching for items in the sand, is really strong. I think we should stick with I'm it. Trying to find my, trying to find my mouse iPad so trying I can at f- least try to find your bliss. Yeah. I was gonna tell you about a dream I had, but I can't remember anything about it that is that's worth remembering. Oh yeah, my penis had a toenail on it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, like a, my, well, my like mind kind of mixed up the like the like penis and toe. I think that's like a thing, and like you know, like how like. The thing where it's like people have like foot fetishes because I'm deleting the, that. the, the area um, the area in your brain. I'm de- I'm deleting that part of the podcast. This is part of the podcast getting deleted. Uh, please, I want to live. I'm no. real. I'm no, real. Stop doing this joke. It makes the part funnier. <laughs> it desensitizes me from deleting it, which I must. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna say a slur. <laughs> Low. Now you have to delete it. Okay. Um. So, Gavian, do you want to yeah. talk about the slur that you just said? Uh, I no, deleted it, of course. it didn't say one. I deleted it, but you, it, you did, it you was said. You can't prove that. Gavian, please that. apologize. Gavian, please apologize. Look I, at won't the, apologize. I won't apologize. I won't apologize until you, like, you, cl- you, like, clip that and, like, put it viewers. here. Like, right here. Look at the viewers. And apologize right, you, for that you, slur that you, you said. Did you do it? Did you, did you do it? Did you actually? Did you, yeah. did you put in the proof? If you put in the proof... I will apologize. Okay, well, they, here you go. The viewers are there. They're they're watching you. They're waiting patiently for you to apologize. All right, all right. That's low. Okay, they don't look happy. <laughs> <laughs> they look they they look positively red with anger. <laughs> they're beet red. Maybe they should turn blue and go to go down a shoot. What are you talking about, like Willy Wonka? Yeah. I don't think I don't think the girl who they turned should, they, blue go down shoot, went down a shoot. <laughs> I don't th- wait. Did they, they, they should they should make they should he? make like Willy Wonka. No, I think there's two people in the shoot. That's low. Who went down a shoot? My TV. There was the the one the no the one kid that that got that the chocolate shoot. Oh my! Went up, yeah, he went Augustus up a shoot. Gloop. Augustus Gloop went up a shoot. Um, that one fucking rich bitch went down a shoot. Oh my. God. God, is it is ethical so, to call a fictional child a bitch? Oh my god, you're so impossible. <laughs> I was saying ah. that's just gloop. And you just... Oh my god. <laughs> oh. I just like mansplained Willy Wonka to Dude, you. Dude, I bet you would go to fucking... I bet I bet Willy Wonka... Let's think of a Willy Wonka punishments that they would give us. I bet they would they yeah. would stretch your ears out so big that they like... like to- they, they, I bet Willy Wonka <laughs> would tear your ears off, I think. You make it. You make it sound like that. Like he would just do something to you, just out of malice. And, and <laughs> that's what he does. Do you think? No. Are you serious? He, he, it was. It was like. It was like a. Like a. Like a Don. Like a. Like a fucking. Like a, da- a, what a Dante's Inferno type thing. It, it was like a Don. It was like a, a punishment chosen freely. Freely. They. They fucking. Yeah, he. He's the god they, of they, the world. He fucking. He invented the fucking Oompa Loompas. He. He has power over everything in that world. Do you think? Yeah, do you think but, anything that happens in that fucking factory is on accident? By so accident. It's like, Sorry. So you're saying that like Willy Wonka designed his factory for for the for the specific purposes of like appealing to like the vices of all those children to to torment them. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow, that's, that's, some, that's, that's some good meta-analysis. That's the entire reason that he did anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure... Well, he, he definitely he definitely made his, his place, like, fucking really easy to get terribly damaged to, in it's it's like it's like yeah. making a it's like having like a wood mill and just like having like slippery ice bridges with no railing <laughs> <laughs> just like slip that's off not, and fall into a wood chipper. no it's not like no because that's that's not comparable at all because like willy wonka like they, they could have those all those children could could have fucking avoided their fates if they hadn't just been f- low I don't, just, think, like, that you, I don't, I don't think that children being stupid little kids should result in them getting fucking stretched <laughs> well, out. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, I that's, think that's a little bit that's a little bit harsh of a punishment, and I don't. I, I well, think that's, th- th- that's definitely Robert like <laughs> like an OSHA violation. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm pretty sure, I'm sure that's that you an should OSHA violation. Why did they? Uh, no, <laughs> I, I won't allow it. You want to allow? Anyways, how I, we're we're missing the point. How would Willy Wonka uh, torture us? I think Willy Wonka, like he, he would, would I, I'd probably be like, um, I don't know. I I feel I think Willy Wonka would convert you into light. I think I think yeah. I would probably like. I think Willy uh, Wonka would like you know like a, the Pink Floyd thing. It'd be like here's like a here's like a like a VR candy thing, and I'd be I'd be like so immersed in it, and then I would fucking. It would, it would be like, don't do this one thing. You'll be trapped in there forever. And so it would be. And then they'd be like, oh, man, we got to put him in a robot now. And I would be like, this fucking sucks. I I can't feel my dick anymore. But also, secret would be like, fuck, yeah. I don't think that would happen. I don't think that would happen. I think what they would do is they would make you into a chess piece. And then they would they would kill you with, <laughs> with the, by the rules of chess. <laughs> no, because it, it's like, it's yeah. something that like it would be like, it would that would be like something that something would appeal that would to me. It would make on your me person. Well, it did. That would, what? What about? I would make that mistake though, because I'd, I'd be like, no. Could you? you and they, <laughs> they would turn you into a chess piece from chess, and they would. What would they? Okay, so, so what would they? What would they do to you then, Luna? What would they do to you? <laughs> Dying. They to hear would. It. Um, <laughs> <laughs> every single Igloo <laughs> would take turns sitting on my face and farting <laughs> until I died. <laughs> <laughs> they would do that until I was dead. <laughs> they, would they would they would go single file. <laughs> they would cut that. They would cut that the movie because I think that would be they would, they would think it was like a fetish why, thing. Why are you assuming that this is a movie? <laughs> this is yeah, just we're, like we're, other, this is... other. Why why is this the sequel that just has us? <laughs> <laughs> this is it, would be, it would be the worst sequel ever, and that's why they made it. Is they wanted How to much, make um, the worst sequel to a mu- to a movie possible. Do you think? Do you think what I just explained is on Pornhub? What? Do you think the thing that I just explained to you is on Pornhub? I I absolutely think it's on Pornhub. <laughs> like maybe with like maybe one think, or more fanboys. I think present. I think it has I think it has millions of views on, on <laughs> Pornhub. <of> fanboys. <laughs> I think it has, <laughs> I think there's millions of fanboys. At There's least, like at least, at least, like one out of one out of thirty-five fanboys is on is on, porn a, on this video. A, there's an audience. <laughs> there's an audience in the background of the Oompa Loompa video, just filled with fanboys <laughs> looking on, <laughs> looking on, and and fucking and, 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 and like in like a solemn watching silence. W- watching my evil torture commence. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think I think we like tainted our podcast by mentioning. Pee Wee Herman, and now it's it's just it's it's gone completely. <laughs> we should call this the Pee Wee Herman episode because the, it, pee, the pee Wee Herman curse. Because the Pee Wee, yeah, Pee Wee Herman is is the Pee Wee Herman's is the curse. catalyst for like all like the vulgarity <laughs> in, in in two minutes by Fuzz. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and we, sometimes we sometimes we say a, a dick and a fart, but I think if we've done we, many. We, yeah, the Pee Wee Herman we, thing. Looking yeah. at Pee Wee Herman and looking at that Quora. Article now now we're now we are a sex podcast. We yeah, are we, a please. Sex, <laughs> we are a sex tips and lifestyle podcast. I want to. I want. I. I don't want to be a sex podcast anymore. I don't want to be a sex tips and lifestyle podcast either. But <laughs> I don't want to be. I don't want to be now. line of sex tips. That's what we are now. Fuck. And all we all we can do now is think of a better, more sex oriented name for our podcast. Uh, two minute sex puffs. 
two minutes maxi puffs, two minutes spicy <laughs> um comes, two minutes spicy uh uh, uh fumble, two minutes uh, two minutes spicy cocks. Too many spicy cocks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> too too many spicy cocks. <laughs> <laughs> too too too. I think too many too, too many, many smexy cocks. <laughs> too many sp- <laughs> and, that, and that's just what we are now. And and Pee Wee Herman did it to us. This is the. Pee- <laughs> it, it, wanna, it's, it's sad. It's a sad. I'm gonna sue him now. I'm suing him for 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 ruining me, ruining After our brand. All he's been through for just jacking off in a lovely, <laughs> beautiful porn theater. <laughs> I, don't I, you think he, you suffer through enough? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know. I'm too. I'm too. I'm blinded by well, my rage. Well, guess what, Gavian? Uh, the, yeah. Well, despite all my rage, I'm still just a woman held against my will as Oompa is sequentially <laughs> fart in my face. <laughs> that's all I am. That's, I, that's all I've been. That's, that's what I've been reduced to. And you are complicit. Well, you're. you're yeah, you're. You're just a pawn in their game. <laughs> yeah. See, it all comes back. You. You thought. You thought I was just being a random. And Pee Wee represents. Uh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna get to the end, and I'm gonna become a queen. Pee Wee represents the fruits of, of the Garden of Eden. <laughs> <laughs> is basically, the, um, yeah, Pee Wee Herman is the is the is the fruit of knowledge of good and evil. Yeah, and what do you think Pee Wee's big adventure was? Uh, the, <laughs> cr- the Crusades of Jesus Christ. I don't even know what that's the fucking thing in the Bible. <laughs> yeah, that's, not even, it's, that's just a thing that that's happened. Not that's not a thing in the Bible. The, <laughs> the Bible Crusades didn't. Crusades of Jesus there was, Christ. What? <laughs> <laughs> What? That's what Pee Wee is. Pee Wee is the Crusades of Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> that's what is. That's Pee Wee's big adventure. <laughs> it's the Crusades. <laughs> His big adventure was that. Wow, pretty pretty good adventure. And welcome, and, and thank you for listening to another episode of the classic Christian Bible themed podcast. Too many this spicy is the, bus, the family friendly always... podcast. The family friendly podcast. Too many spicy cocks. Christianity always f- worms its way into into these episodes. Yeah, what? It's, it's like it, it's just and like it's one someone... of the it's just like one of the funny things. It's like babies. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just a funny like thing to bring up. Babies, um, crystals, flakes, um, extreme vulgarity, femboys, femboys. That's well, femboys is new. No one's ever talked about fem. We haven't talked about femboys and. Well, Pee Wee is the reason, and now, and and we just have to accept Pee Wee because he made us talk about fun boys, and now we're a yeah, fun we boy sec- podcast. We have to accept Pee Wee Herman into our life. <laughs> Lol. Blood farts, uh, uh, do blood farts, uh, uh, evil, evil spirits.